All right, this is our last topic of Gaming Talk, episode 16S. Look, fellers, me and Fresh tried out PlayStation VR. The title of this is, is PSVR. PlayStation VR worth a buy, question mark. Now, with the clapping, that was from Fresh, I think. We're going to start off with Fresh. <laughs> Tell the people your impressions of PlayStation VR. Well, first of all, I apologize. I don't have, you know, the impressions up on the video on my channel. But I will say this. I will say this right now. Uh, to, so when I first shot VR, look. Put that helmet on, right? All I seen was darkness. Seen darkness. I looked around, I'm like, wow, I don't see nothing. So he put the screen on for me. I seen the menu was in cinematic mode, which was pretty cool. So I'm like, okay, so it is true. Cinematic was like a screen in front of your in front of your face. So the first game I tried was London Heist, and I, and I must say right now, I really want to continue that demo. Uh, so the first thing was I seen my hands, and like everything was. First of all, the first thing I noticed about VR, it was one to one with everything I was doing. No matter what I was doing, I opened the door. I actually looked out the door like I was jumping out the car from GTA. It was like that. Like I had the door open with my head sticking out the door. It was crazy. Uh, I grabbed things, picked up things. Everything was working just fine. Um, it was clear. I had to adjust it a little bit, but uh, it, it was clear. Mm -hmm. When you adjust it to a certain you know, part of your face, it will be clear for your eyes. Uh, people with glasses. I heard people sometimes they had a hard time with glasses. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. Um but I think they probably will fix that in the finished uh, finished product. What's that, another thing? Um, there I'll, were times. I'm let me not interrupt gonna, you right quick. Huh? The glasses thing. My little brother tried it. He had no problem. So the people who complained, no problem. They probably just didn't know how to put on the headset, right? Yeah, that's pro yeah. See, that, that's another thing. You you gotta have because I saw your video raw where the lady said that you had to you know push the back you know up against your head yes. so you can like be tight. Um, so that that definitely does matters when it comes to sight. So. I, there were times where you know I really had to adjust it because like my uh my eyelashes was hitting the lens. I don't know because my eyelashes long Dean, or if it was just wrong. Pretty boy. I don't know what it was. But, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it was, but uh, and there was times where I was immer immersed in the game, but uh, like in the, my peripherals, I can see outside of the real world. Like I said, I can see the light. And, like I said, it was probably because you know I got a lot of hair and stuff like that, and it was fit on my head a certain way so you know when once i get it i will probably be you know all right you know adjusted to my my head how yeah. it's supposed to be normal um but I, man I, i've tried three games e valkyrie is probably the best one it, it was amazing I, it was something that i never never played before and like like this is the birth of something new i know this been here before but i think this is a rebirth where vr games been around since probably like the 90s the 80s or whatever now, this is a rebirth, and I think they have the technology to, uh, you know, succeed with this product now in uh, 2016 and the years beyond. I think uh, VR, I don't think it's the core future of gaming. I think it's the future of gaming in a, in a, in a branch, like handhelds have their own branch. I think yeah. VR is in another category, just like that, how handhelds are yeah. as far as that. But, yeah, I, VR, I, I, went, I went to go back the second time, you know, two weeks straight. Um, because I wanted to make sure if, you know, I'm, if it's my money's worth, you know, spending four or $500 for this thing, I wanted to make sure. And I am definitely sold. As soon as I put it on, I was done. I, I was done. So that, that's my impressions on that. I can't wait until October 13th. Yep. That's how my impressions were. It was great. Awesome. One that, that is awesome. Um, at the end of the day, Turtles, you did not play, uh, with the VR headset, but just from what you're hearing fresh saying, also what you know about the PlayStation VR in VR in general, do you think it's the future of gaming? Fresh said it beautifully. It's a different branch like handhelds. Um, but, you know, what do you think about the whole VR um, thing and stuff? Talk to me. Well, I mean, I've only really had one experience with VR, and that was when my, my friend brought me Google Cardboard one day. Oh, hey! I tried to go! <laughs> <laughs> And not gonna lie, it, it was a lot better than I expected. It really kind of did live up to that standard of virtual reality, and I, I think we are getting closer with every step. And I feel like not not right now, whenever it comes out, but I feel like later on in life, it could be the future of gaming. 
mm. and stuff like that. It's just like maybe now is not the time because you know 2016. I know we're getting there. I know we're we're having the technology. I mean, we have the headset, we have like the HTC gloves things and the joysticks, and like I, it, it's really good with VR. But I, I just feel like we're not we're not quite there yet, but we're getting a lot closer and a lot closer with the uh, time. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. When you say a lot closer, like, like how do you, um, like, how do you want gaming to be as, as, as far as that aspect of that? Like, I mean, well, I want, like, total virtual reality. Like, your body, like, you're going to be doing a judo kick and then you're going to be punching some Russian He wants some star, star, oh. he wants sword art online virtual reality. That's what he wants. <laughs> oh, man. What, look, look, all I'm saying is this. What, you want to do all that? Man, it, they got, they got something like that. I ain't, look. Just go try it out. Just look on your, um, you know, on the web and find if it's near your game, near your house. Any GameStop is probably doing it. Just look on PlayStation.com. Man, they'll, they'll tell you. Go try it out, man. For real, you you'll be surprised. Yeah, well, I'll take more. Let me say this, um, and I'm gonna try to have the link in the description. Uh, the experience <laughs> PlayStation, but hopefully they're still doing it by you. But look, seriously, I tried VR and like Fresh said. You have to adjust it. You have to make sure it's good on your head. But fresh, the second time I tried it, like you know, I was I went back in line again. The second time I tried it, man, I put that on like I had it, like I've been using it for for years. You know, I just put that G on and I just connected it. Yeah. I, like. Like you had, like it was yours. Oh. Yeah, I'm about to take it home. Let me say this: they'll stop you. But look, VR. Police. I still believe it's the future of gaming because. If you think about it, you know what I mean? We we do, in a way, feel that way with these games now. When I'm swinging on Spider-Man, and I swing, and then he falls, and then I swing again, and he falls. I don't know. I started feeling like I was swinging. I felt the, you know, the, the fear of falling through the... And I'm sitting on my bed playing this game, and, and I'm not with no virtual helmet on. And this is... Me in third person doing this. It's not even a first person. Now when I'm in Mirror's Edge and I fall off a building, I I I be ah, you know, cause <laughs> like yeah. Look, games now immerses us. VR, you know, what I mean, I'm not saying we don't need VR for immersion. I'm just saying if games now immer immerses you, like the next step is to take away your 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 you know your your bed, take away your 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 dresser, take away the um tv and put yeah, you, you there have a, you're gonna have a nice empty room for it or else you're, you're gonna hit something well vr on playstation is mostly sitting down to be honest with you of course they may have in the future some titles that make you stand up or whatever but at the moment vr is mostly a sitting down experience um now that's going to the honestly. htc vive yeah. that's definitely a standing up experience but you need a lot of room for that kind of system and you need a beefy pc and cameras and cameras. Look, the HTC Vive is basically the best VR experience you can have, but it's it's expensive. It's just like, you know, um, I guess you could say with consoles versus PC. Like, PC is the best place to get the best graphics and best frame rate, but console can give you... simplicity. It's, simp yeah, exactly. it's simple, and it also is pretty good, too. You know, it's pretty good, too, with frame rates and... And, 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 um, and, and a lot of people yeah. say... They hate the frame rate on Home for the Revolution. That's one of the games people say, like, oh, man, that sucks on console. Like, I hear Digital Foundry say it all the time. But, I like, they just released a new patch to make the frame rate even better. And I played it before patch, and I enjoyed it. You know what I mean? I, I think Home for the Revolution is a is a must play. I'm not saying must buy. If, if you can get a nice, you know, cheaper version, I got it for, like, $40. The, the the big boy edition with all the expansion stuff but if you can get it like cheaper than 60 yeah it's a buy but it's definitely a must play I definitely would advise you to rent it to go see if you want to buy it but anyway that's the resemblance with PC uh, PC's VR option which is HTC Vive and PlayStation VR now I'm not saying Oculus because a lot of people I think Oculus is like that in, in, in this in this rat race if it, it feels like Oculus is, is is trying to get better and better, and I and I hope it does because we need competition. It just feels that more people are looking at PlayStation VR and HTC Vive. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Yeah, I, 
Yeah, I, I, yeah, no, it's true because um, reason why is because of the fact that marketing, uh, the way the way PlayStation VR is being marketed is is uh, is very good. You know, Resident Evil Seven, with you know everybody's seen that on at the PlayStation conference. Resident Evil Seven is going to be on VR, and he came out and said he says playable from beginning to end with VR. Yeah. That's going to be a big selling point because of that game. You know, a lot of horror fans out there, you know, that's mm-hmm. going to be like, oh man, plus it's just it's another. This is a game. For PlayStation VR, and it looks like that. Look how Resident Evil Seven look. Yeah. That that look crazy. Yeah, it look like PT graphics. Look, look. That's what I'm saying. Like it's already evolving. And, and PSVR is the cheapest out of all three, right? Yeah. And I saw this lady working with VR, uh, uh, PSVR. I was looking at everybody who was sitting in the chair. I was in a way helping them get the headset on and telling them, "Don't be afraid to tell her to help you adjust it." Because I wanted everyone to have the best experience. I felt like I was a Sony exact. I said exact. Ex- <laughs> representative. But all I'm saying is, like, it's the cheapest way to get into VR. And Sony has it. And I think that's a big plus. And the fact that it works is a big plus. You know? Like, me and Fresh, was we, we, we tried this thing and it works. Right, Fresh? Yeah, it, it, it really did work. And it that's, worked. And go, like, back it, to, it, go ahead, Fresh. Go ahead. Not, I thought it was going to be a gimmick. Board. Huh? Also, take it from someone who's trying to get from carnival, man. It works. Yeah, you, yeah, man. You, you, you got, you got to try it out, bro. You really? <laughs> really? And that on your Christmas, man. For real? Just, just, just go for it, bro. And make sure you eat something before, because I know if you are hungry <laughs> going into VR, you might. It's like working out hungry. It don't feel good. But anyway. Yeah, hold up. This is. Not- yeah, you know what? You know what's crazy? This is another thing with VR, too. It does a great job with. Normally, when you hold hold your arms up, you know, a certain amount of time, you usually get tired. But now, I feel like with these VR games, it's like exercise on a, on a sneak tip. Like, oh. It really is exercise. You hold your arms up all this time like you hold holding a gun. Why are all the but games real life, you just holding up. Huh? Why no, see, with the remote. Now? Like, with the remote. Mind, go. Well, no, with the DualShock 4, your arms are stationary, but with the Move controllers, you're moving your arms up and down, left and right. Yeah, know? that's what I'm saying. With the Separately. Move controller, yeah. Separately. Yep. So anyway, but yeah, you, dog. You for, you kind of forget where you are, too. I'm not going to lie. It was, I, I, son, I was Valkyrie. Like Valkyrie also battled Battlezone. In Battlezone, I, yeah. I yeah. forgot I was in the store. At. <laughs> you know what I wanted you to do? You know what I wanted you to do? Like when you was playing Battlezone, I wanted you to... uh. Rotate the controller around and click the buttons, cause you know them buttons was actually being being pushed inside the game. You know that, right? Oh, you wanted me to look down and press the button? Yeah, I wanted I wanted you to look down at the controller and actually rotate the controller because those buttons work. Like uh, it, it literally uh, shows you clicking the buttons. It's over. Like I'm done. Every button triggers and everything. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. I felt like I was on a roller coaster with Battlezone, and Battlezone worked so perfectly. I could see it did. PSVR. <laughs> That's a launch title, dog. Yeah, I know. I could see PSVR with with first person shooter, uh, first person shooter mech game, Hawkin oh two. I could see Hawkin two on PSVR. I could see it, bro. Like or Ace Combat Jet games, like those Jet Titanfall games. That, like, that's gonna be crazy. Yeah. Titanfall three, or uh, Titanfall VR. I can see that, dude. I can. See, you know how some people say. I wonder how VR go. Yo, <laughs> Black Light VR? No, man. Look. No, I, no, I said Batman VR. Oh, I wonder how that's gonna be too. Yeah. <laughs> But very fresh, you know what I mean? Like, you know how people say they ain't going to have no Call of Duty in VR. Like, what you say about that now, after trying it? Uh, they will. I, I, I would, the only problem with uh, Call of Duty VR is the fact that um, it, it can't be as fast-paced like it is no, now. No, it can't be that fast. Mm-mm. Uh, nah, like, I'll say like Killzone, bro. Call of Duty going to be turning Killzone in VR. Killzone should just be VR. Yep. Like, they should just do that. you right. It's only got the IP. <laughs> That's the right one. <laughs> Sony got it's the over. IP. It's over. It kills on VR. Here you go. Yep. And you, just, just... and you looking around. You looking around at bad guys. You like you watching your back. You looking behind. You see someone behind you. Let me say this about Lawbreakers. That's a cool PC lot. game. Wouldn't it be cool if that game had VR? You know how you can shoot behind your back. How cool would that be? You looking behind yeah. your back and you see someone line up a shot and shoot behind your back. It's over. No. Dude. That's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be crazy though in Call of Duty. Like if we play a co-op, right, like, and and you driving the car in VR, and I'm in the back on the gunner, like, yeah, shooting all the enemies and stuff. Like that's gonna be crazy. You know and what? Then, like I'm standing yo, next to God, and I look over, look to the left, and I'm like, I'm I'm really looking at you. Like my guy really looking at you. Like are you here in front of me for real? No, you know, if it be like that, I'm done. No, it's gonna I be a floating headset. Song. It's gonna be like Rayman. 
<laughs> Yo, imagine infamous on the VR. Imagine. You might throw up. Oh, might throw up with that. <laughs> you break up Bioshock. with the pixels. I would say Bioshock be VR. Yeah, yeah. no, the darkness, the darkness game back on the old last gen on VR. It's pretty good. Wait, you should have boxing in VR? Yeah, it should. Yeah. You know you'll be out, you'll be out of breath after you done that. You'll be really sweating. <laughs> But GTA 5 is gonna be in VR or Assassin's Creed? Now I'd like to see Assassin's Creed in VR. That's gonna be I would crazy. see. I would. I, I would think GTA 5 would do it because they ended up doing a first person mode on GTA 5. So well, if they could add a VR mode, step. just like Fallout 4 have it, getting a <laughs> VR mode. I, I can see GTA 5 getting a VR mode. Just to walk around Los Santos, like people who don't live in California, like me, we can walk around that G. And then you have your fan on. You turn your fan on. You feel like the breeze is over. Yeah, Drive Club, that's gonna be a VR. That's that. Ultimate experience, 2K16. If you got 2K16. Basketball, let me say this about basketball games. That'd be crazy if they wasn't VR. Oh, let me say this. It could work, but how are you gonna move left and right if you got the move controllers? I guess you could use the analog sticks on the move controllers, right? Nah. Uh, I guess. Oh, Jimmy Jones don't care. But let me say this, though. <laughs> VR, in my opinion, is a must buy. Especially if you're a console gamer, like if you're a PC gamer, um, is VR is P is PlayStation VR worth your time and money? If you're if you're predominantly a PC gamer, maybe not. You you can go ahead after the other two that's already on your platform. But if you have kids and junk like that, um, PSVR will be great for them. As well as if you're a young adult like me and Fresh and uh, Turtles, definitely. Um, I, I recommend it highly because of the fact that it, it works. It works. So yeah, um, yeah. It's not a gimmick. It's not It's no. not going to be no gimmick. It's going to be something that works. And if you want it, it's there. And if you don't, then obviously you have games like... And that's another thing, Fresh. When I was playing Advanced Warfare, it felt like I was in a movie. It was, I had earphones on. It was booming and the bullets and sounds, everything was in yeah. my ear. How cool would that be in cinema mode? Sitting in your room in the dark with that thing on playing Advanced Warfare, like it's a the in the theater. Like, it's done. You know? like, like, that's another thing with VR. It's going to want to make you play other games mm. like that you already have in yeah, cinematic mode. Like, I, I want to I see how this look in cinematic mode. Or that. Yeah. I want to see how Infamous look or the Order look. Uh, the Uncharted, Order be crazy. Uncharted oh. 4 is over. Uncharted. Uncharted, yep, it's over. That's going to be like a movie. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> And you can watch, guess what? Not even just games. You can watch Netflix and stuff like that in VR. I'm done. Yep. Add some popcorn. Yep. Add yep. some popcorn. I get the movies. I'm done. Yep. Yep. You can but, watch actual but movie movies. It's going to take over movie theaters? Yeah. I, I believe that. I, I truly believe that. I think, like, come on, man. People be, what? People walk out bathrooms without washing their hands, and then they get in the same seat you sit in, and they be wiping their hands. And you eating popcorn while touching the, no, nah, man. I rather I rather yeah. VR. <laughs> some popcorn in VR. Yeah, you do. Yeah. No, you have pop. Have, have boy. Let me say this, man. If if two P, if two PSVRs can hook up to the one PS4, I'll be I'll be cool. Cause you know you'll have your you and your friend sitting sitting down watching. The it's over, man. It really you and your is. friend probably hit each other. Oh, well, no, then you not two years later they're gonna have a wireless VR. Yeah, it's yeah. over. They See, had eight. That's why I would give. PlayStation VR over. I would give that to PSVR over um, the Vive. I'm not saying I never tried the Vive, but to be honest, that little string hanging from Fires. your back of the head. That I was looking at some videos. That thing was wrapping around people's legs. I'm like, and then they all they they always cut it. You know, they always cut it. They don't show what happens after it wraps around. People walking around. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, that the wire thing, up. That, that wire is hanging from your head. That would be a better experience if the, if it was wireless. But we ain't getting that until maybe two years, if not next year. But I think yeah. at the end of the day, PSVR, sitting down experience, that's how the entry of VR in this gaming thing for the masses yeah. is going to start off. I really believe that. That's how it's going to yeah. start off for the masses. Sitting down. I believe Because you got to sit like down before guy. you stand up, you know. Oh, Jimmy Jones, don't you care. Do. Well, it's like... Just like No Man's Sky, I, b I believe in No Man's Sky and I believe in VR, man. And, that, and look, 
I, I'm excited for the future of VR and the future of PlayStation, like I said. And look, if you and I know we were talking about it, but I'm going to have the link to that video of, of my vlog of VR so you can go see how the helmet looks. And you can actually see the second unit that comes with VR. That's going to be the power, the driving power. So it's able to be played on your PlayStation 4. But please, write in the comment section below, have you tried VR on any of the PC or uh, console? How about I say consoles with an S, but PS4 is the only one that has it. But moving forward, guys, we reached the end of Gaming Talk episode 16S. Let's move on to our sign-offs. All right, we are here at the sign-off part of Gaming Episode 16S. Turtles, let's start with you. Say bye to the people. Just want to say it was a pleasure being a part of this game and talk. Uh, go ahead and check out my channel down in the description below if you want to go see some other gaming content. And uh, yeah, peace out. Man, thank you for being here. Link to his channel, Link to Turtles' channel will be in the description below. Check him out there, support him there. Now, Fresh, you're up next. Say bye to the people. Bye, people. This is your boy, Prince the Gamer, signing out. It was a great episode. Uh, thank you, Turtles, for coming back. It was good talking to you, buddy. And, uh, yeah, let's have ourselves a... Uh, everybody have a good weekend, first of all. It's tomorrow, Friday. Uh, we oh, wait now, wait now. This uh, episode uh, might uh, go up on... You said what, bro? <laughs> this episode might not go up before the weekend. So, just say have a nice day. You, you're right. All right, have a nice day. Hey, Jimmy Jones. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you, Raw, for having me on. Yes, sir. And, uh, I'm out. Everybody, thank you for being on today. And, and viewers, thank you for watching. Please drop a like. Subscribe here for more gaming news from Cosmic PC. And subscribe to my boys. Their channel link in the description as well as an adaptation. But this has been Gaming Talk Episode 16. And this has been Raw. Coming at you, Raw. Pieces. Why you saying such things? Study. All right, guys, we are at the next topic of Gaming Talk 16S, and it is what games are we playing? What games are we playing right now? 